Uh, my name is Fabian Rodriguez. I will be explaining the history of solitary confinement as well as touching on uh, viewpoints from medical professionals as well as studies that have been done. Um, in 1829, that's when the um, solitary confinement was first implemented in the United States. This was in Philadelphia. Uh, it was quickly banned within a couple of decades though because of the suicidal rates among these inmates that were in here uh, in, in the uh, solitary confinement units as well as uh, insanity. Um, we often see solitary confinement being a model of Alcatraz um, and the one cell that they had for in, um, inmates in solitary confinement. Um, they have no clothes, um, they are naked, and there's one hole in the cell uh, for them to urinate and uh, you know dispose of their their, uh, their bowel movements. Um, there are about 80,000 uh, inmates in solitary confinement of some form in the United States today. Uh, it costs about $20 a day to maintain those cells uh, for those individuals. Um, and that amounts to nearly $600 million a year that the nation has to pay for um, to keep these uh, individuals housed in these specific units. Um, <clears throat> there are also health health providers that um, are stuck in an ethical dilemma because of uh, themselves wanting to do their job and help these individuals you know, with their mental state and uh, trying to rehab and uh, get back on their feet. Um, not so much in society, but just mentally. Um, it's kind of hard to do that though, when they know that this is um, kind of a cycle that never ends just because of how often uh, solitary confinement is used in the United States. Um, but there was a study done also in uh, New York that uh, looked at 92 individuals and they all showed um, some form of a mentally ill condition uh, post-release from solitary confinement. Um, so we can see how this is a, not so much an individual problem with just one institution, um, but a social issue that needs to be addressed at the administrative and legislative levels um, to implement some changes uh, to better serve inmates and the public as well uh, with the use of their tax dollars. Solitary confinement is when an inmate is segregated as a form of punishment from the rest of the population in the correctional facility. This means that inmates live, sleep, and go to the bathroom within the same tiny constrained area. When inmates inmate is placed into solitary confinement, they are completely alienated from the world around them. They are not allowed to participate in rehabilitative programs, visiting friends, visits from friends and family, and cannot participate in work assignments. Solitary confinement is not overlooked by any courts or reviewers. It is entirely left up to the facility that the inmates are housed in. As we have previously learned in this video, solitary confinement only worsens inmates with mental illness. They come out from solitary confinement with a bigger toll on their mental health than before. Solitary confinement has also proven to worsen chronic health issues because inmates are stuck in this tiny constrained space. It also increases the chance of them developing a new chronic health issue. Solitary confinement is also very costly to facilities because it requires a cell for every single individual inmate. There are six easy changes that can be made to easily reform solitary confinement to focus on an inmate's rehabilitation and health while also maintaining order, security, and safety within the facility. The first step would be for solitary confinement to only be implemented as a punishment for violent misconduct, not for petty things. The second step would be to limit the amount of time in this isolation. An inmate should only be placed in solitary confinement for the shortest amount of time necessary that will help them reflect. The third step would be to entirely prohibit the use of solitary confinement with juveniles, mentally ill inmates, cognitive impairment, pregnant women, elderly, and medically ill inmates. The fourth step would require the implementation of reviewers, an assembly of individuals including correctional, medical, mental health staff, and a re-entry coordinator along with an inmate advocate. This would ensure that inmates in solitary confinement would have their needs met and only serve a small amount of time. The fifth step would be to implement a transitional service that would lead to inmates gradually re-entering the general population rather than just sticking them right in there once again. The sixth step would be for the correctional system to partner up with experts and researchers to make even more reforms in the future for solitary confinement to just better the system overall. These changes will ensure a better punishment and rehabilitation system 
for these inmates. Kaylee Frauder was a young 16-year-old boy who was taken into custody by the correctional system for burglary charges related to stealing a backpack. In that time, he served around two years in solitary confinement at Rikers Island. The teen boy would spend around 23 hours every single day in a tiny cell by himself. Because of this, Frauder began to experience the effects of solitary confinement. He began to have depression, paranoia, and suicidal thoughts. This led to Browder spending time in a psychiatric hospital. He also made multiple suicide attempts on his own life and finally succeeded in June of 2015 at the age of 22. A month before Browder committed suicide, he wrote a paper called A Closer Look at Solitary Confinement in the United States for his community college. Browder mentions how he believes solitary confinement is a violation of the Eighth Amendment because it is cruel and unusual punishment. Browder also highlights the solitary confinement was once abolished in the 1900s for its adverse effects on inmates, but then was brought back many years later despite that. This essay was very personal for Bowder, as he states, many inmates undergo many unnecessary mental health problems are left for them and their families to deal with and fix. Bowder relates that sentence very much because less than a month later after writing the essay, he took his own life. This is the harsh reality of solitary confinement. Welcome to Corona, and I will be discussing the psychological effects that solitary confinement has on prisoners. Whether it be praising solitary confinement as it gave prisoners a time to just clear their heads of all the noise, to others saying that it's just a waste of resources and um, complete mental abuse. Most articles, I mean excluding those polar opposites, did agree with the American Psychological Association that solitary confinement does increase the prisoner's risk of self-harm, self-mutilation, and suicidal actions as well as increase their levels of anxiety, depression, paranoia, and aggression. Um, it's interesting when you look at a smaller study, for example, the one conducted by the University of Southern Mississippi, which took 48 individuals and divided them up into two groups. And in those groups, they had a general population and then a solitary confinement population. And they administered two tests, one before solitary confinement and one after. It's interesting when you look at the number of increase in symptoms like anxiety, post-traumatic stress, and depression. For example, for depression, inmates who inmates who were just part of the general population, when they were first tested in general, right, they received about 30.04 points of depression. And then after their second test, which was a couple months later, it was dropped down to 16.67. That's a decrease of 13.37. And then when you look at the group that was exposed to a solitary confinement, their initial testing was at 26.71. And then after solitary confinement, it rose to 36.54. That's an increase of 9.83. Now, studies like this are very common as a lot of people are trying to see the effects that solitary confinement has. But just like this study, the results are never groundbreaking. They're never raising any red flags that are just like monumental and hard to miss.